Can we just begin with the stress of yesterday and the stress of last year? Have we put behind the difficulties of last year for the rest of the banking sector? Yeah, I'd say um, for the most part, everything's in the rearview mirror now. So there were a few uh, idiosyncratic uh, bank failures um, that related to the business model and how fast those banks grew, uh, and then the stress caused by the Fed raising rates very quickly. Uh, and so I think as the year went on, people could differentiate between the traditional regional banks and how well they've managed and been able to handle their interest rate risk. Uh, and so deposit pressures eased as the year went on. And so things are starting to feel a lot more normal. So yesterday's announcement uh, on NYCB was a bit of a surprise. I think that's an outlier. The monster's under the bed. It spooked people, though. You know it did, Bruce. <laughs> Commercial real estate has been something that's been on people's minds for a long, long time now. Do you think we have seen realize the unrealized losses there yet? Are we about to see a big increase of provisions from some of these lenders with big, big exposure? Yeah, I, I think, you know, in that particular instance, it was more than just commercial real estate because uh, also uh, as banks grow in size and they enter the new weight category, they have to do a lot around capital, liquidity, and funding. And so uh, I think the regulators are having that bank deal with those issues and that's going to depress the net interest income and profitability outlook and say, cut the dividend as a result. So there's a number of things that play be besides just commercial real estate. From my standpoint, our commercial real estate book uh, looks pretty good. Uh, the one area we're focused uh, mainly on is the uh, office sector. And given the slower return to office trends, et cetera, combined with the higher interest rates, it's put a squeeze on that sector. But that's been relatively predictable and manageable for us. We have a certain number of loans that are coming due every quarter. We're looking in the in the, through the front windshield that what's going to happen this quarter, next quarter, the course, quarter after that. And all of our people are working with those borrowers to come up with solutions that work for them and work for us. So we are charging off a certain amount of loans every quarter as we work through that. But I think we have it boxed and don't expect any material surprises.